In Sketch, we use masking to constrain or crop the content of one layer or several layers into the shape of another. In this example, I have a user interface with a slightly rounded rectangle intended to be the mask for the map that you see on the right. With the map overlapping the shape, and with both of the two selected, I can visit Layer, followed by Mask with Selected Shape. Sketch automatically groups together the two layers and applies the shape as a mask for our map. You'll notice a bullet point to the left of the map layer indicating that a mask is being applied. Both the map and the mask are still editable and can be repositioned, and the shape of the mask can even be modified. Additional shapes can also be added to the group, and any shape contained within that group will automatically have the mask applied. If an object belongs in this group but doesn't need the mask applied to it, we can visit Layer, followed by Ignore Underlying Mask. The bullet point disappears and the shape is now no longer affected by the mask, though it is still in the same group. We've just reviewed one of two types of masks in Sketch, the Outline Mask, which uses the surface area of a shape to determine what should be visible and what should not. Now let's take a look at our other option, the Alpha Mask. In this example, I have a rectangle with a gradient fill, which will behave as my mask, displaying a reflection of the screenshot above. I'll hold Option and drag our screenshot to create a duplicate, and then I'll flip it vertically using the inspector. Next, I'll select the two objects and choose Layer, followed by Mask with Selected Shape. Sketch recognizes that our shape has a gradient fill with transparency and automatically applies an alpha mask instead of an outline mask. It's that easy. Thank you.